again, a low bridge is ruled out because of heavy boat traffic. But there's no airport on the Swedish shore. They can build as big as they want. And they need it big, very big. To clear boat traffic, the bridge will have to be at least 200 feet above the water. The center span, at least 1,500 feet long. To meet these challenges with the best possible bridge, the consortium holds a design competition. One of the most spectacular proposals requires building the largest arch bridge in the world. I think um, you don't really get an idea of the magnitude of this arch. You might get it from the ship going underneath, but it really is big. It would be a monument of some kind. But arch bridges have an Achilles heel. As the arch sweeps down toward the water, the clearance for large ships decreases, eventually to nothing. You always run the risk that a ship could get in there, and therefore you have the risk of hitting the bottom part of the arch, and then the whole thing collapses. If not an arch, what about a suspension bridge? Suspension bridge technology enables the longest spans of any design. Two enormous cables stretch their length. Shorter cables dangle down to hold the roadway. But connecting cables to more cables makes suspension bridges very flexible. Trains don't do well when tracks bend under their weight. And railway traffic is so heavy that uh, if you have a suspension bridge, you will find, if you look at it from the side, that it, the train will always go up a little bulge. It will almost going uphill all the time. Suspension is ruled out. Arch ruled out. So engineers turn to the one design that can answer all their concerns, a cable-stayed bridge. Its structure is rigid enough for heavy train traffic because the support cables attach directly to the towers. And there is a bonus. Cable-stayed bridges are cheaper to build than suspension bridges. Not having the two enormous main cables saves tons of steel. It's a winner. The best design to meet all the Orison's needs is a towering two-level cable-stayed bridge.